No worries, egghead. Who's an egghead? Eggface? So what did Bowser say to you before? Oh, he was asking why the princess wasn't in the clown face copter when we returned it to him at Club Iggy. Oh shit, I totally forgot about that. So what did you tell him? I told him that she must have escaped after we parked the copter, and that we'd go find her. What? She's dead! Why the hell did you tell him we'd get her back? Because I didn't want him eating mushroom soup to start off his dinner, if you know what I mean. Well, we can't get her back, and we can't hide from Bowser forever. What the hell are we gonna do? Relax. I got a plan. So this is your brilliant plan? You told me these guys were supposed to be doctors. Oh, they are. Don't be fooled by their attire. They're actually witch doctors. Uh-huh. Just watch. You gotta remember that it's step-step twirl, not step-step pivot. What kind of a witch doctor are you? Not a good one, I guess. Nice job, Jeff. You hired some tribal shy guys to do a rain dance. Well, they said they could bring back the dead. Hey guys, what gives? Sorry, I guess I thought that dance would work. I didn't realize it was a rain dance. Well, do you guys know any other dance that'll do the trick? Do you know any dances? Well, you remember? We did that one. Oh yeah, maybe that'll work. The only other dance we know how to do is the opening sequence for cats. We could do that if you like. Cats? I love cats. Jeff, are you serious? Oh, no, I mean, uh, what's wrong with you shy guys? Show me that dance later. So, that plan blew hard. And what would be your next brilliant idea, hmm? Don't worry, I have a plan B. We're party duo number one! What can we do for you too? We were just seeing if you had any remedies or herbs of some kind that we could bring back to the dead. Oh, we are just the thing! This is old earl, plant it next to a dead body, and watch it breathe a new life into it. And if that doesn't work, then this should do the trick. This is a rocky candy. Rocky candy give you super power. Maybe bring back the dead? Alright, that'll be all then. Jeff, are you coming? Yeah, just a second. Also, I need one thing. Do you have any ointment for this fungus I have growing down on my nether regions? Rocky Candy! Alright, so we just plant this here? Yeah, that should work. Okay, I guess we just wait a few minutes. Do you think it's working? Well, I'm not sure. Do you smell something funny? Kinda. I just thought you farted or something. No, that wasn't me. Oh god, it's getting worse. Oh, that's wretched. That herb didn't do anything but stink us the fuck out. Let's try the lucky candy. Good idea. Is it working yet? I don't know. Is it working for you? No, I don't think this is gonna work. But it sure is delicious. Oh wow, it really is tasty. And it's working on my fungus. What? Oh, nothing. Man, you are a fungus. Uh-oh, I guess I forgot about that. I guess when I was just growing something down under, that it was just me reproducing. Then this lucky candy must be like a birth control pill equivalent. Or did you just give yourself a fungicidal abortion? You had better have another plan, and it better work. Because if you don't have another plan, or the plan that you do have doesn't work, then we're screwed, and we'll have to fess up to Bowser. And then, he'll kill us! Unless, of course, Mario or Luigi get to us first, and pay us revenge for murdering the princess, and so they'll kill us! Don't worry, I've got a plan C. Alright, so I just went to Kamek's hut, and he said he could help us. Really? 
What did he say he could do? He said we have to feed a little froggy to a guy named Ward. Okay... Whoa! I think that Ward is this little frog's dad. Well, we gotta do what Kamek said, so throw it in Ward's mouth. Come to think of it, I think I remember hearing Kamek talking some shit about Ward. I think he fed Ward his children just to fuck with him. Maybe. Let's just get the fuck out of here. I can't believe we went through all that just to get a one-up mushroom. Yeah, that was fucked up. I can't believe Kamek made that frog dude eat his little frog children. And I didn't know a one-up was all we needed. But I guess if you think about it, where else would we find a one-up? We don't know where to look. True. I think I see her feet poking out over there. Throw the one-up there. Ah, crap. We should have moved the ball first. I guess you're right. You'd think that after Kamek tricking Ward into eating his own child that he wouldn't be dumb enough to do it ten minutes later. And yet he did. Yeah. Alright, let's hope it works this time. Okay, quick, get her! Oh fuck, Mario got her! Shit! What do we do now? Well, one of us will have to tell Bowser that Mario got her. Again. Alright, you can tell him. No way, you tell him. Well, you're the one who told him we could get her back for him. And we could've, if you flew the copter a little closer. Maybe I could've snatched her before Mario did. I couldn't fly closer. She would've got eaten up by the propeller like that Toad did last time. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? We tell him at the same time. He wouldn't kill the messenger if there were two of us, right? Okay. Yeah, hi King Koopa. Mario rescued her. This episode was brought to you by... Rocket Candy! We are karate to our number one. Number one! And when we need awesome power, we need Rocket Candy! Rocket Candy! Rocket Candy makes you fly like a bird. No, like glorious eagle. It makes you strong. I'm strong. So strong! Rocket Candy makes you a super power. Rocket Candy made from the first muscles of steel. It hurt my mouth. Your mouth is weak! So when you're in need of a pickup, it's Rocket Candy! Rocket Candy! It died! Yeah! Yeah! Hi guys! Oh wow, we really can bring back the dead. See, I told you I was a good witch doctor. Yeah, I guess I owe you a coke.